What is up everybody? My name is Zach. Welcome back to Case Digital. In today's video, we are answering the question of how to iterate through a list in Python. So without further ado, let's hop right in and start coding. What is up everybody? Like I mentioned in this video, we are learning how to iterate through a list in Python. And in today's video, I'm actually going to show you three different methods that you can use to actually iterate through a list. Um, and the setup for it is kind of like, we just have a very simple list. We just have this list called current list and it's just one through four, just numbers. And I'm going to pass that list into these different methods that you can use to actually iterate through them. Now, each method is kind of set up the same where the goal of the method is you're basically just going to print out a string representation of the list and that string implementation is going to be generated by iterating through a list and gathering out all the items. Um, and so for this, like I mentioned in this first method, it's just using a simple for loop. All we have to do is put the list object at the last part where you're going to iterate through. So like normally, like I've talked about before in loops and for loops, um, the syntax is usually like for something in, you know, list or range or whatever the case may be um, to get you a number. And in this case, we're just going to put the list object. Now this allows underneath the hood, the iterator for that list object to basically, when you do this, it allows it to loop through each item in the list. So like down here, there's a one, a two, a three, and a four. It allows this item to become this value right here. So when I, the first round, it's going to loop through it four times and it's going to say, okay, item is going to be one. And the next loop, it's going to be two, next loop is going to be three, next loop is going to be four. And I can show this by essentially if I print this out and I say item, then when I run this example here, you should see each item in the list. So it should see one and then two and then three and then four. And then you should see my final string that says the for loop and then just one, two, three, four in the line, just the string representation. So if we run this, you'll see that it says, like I mentioned, one, two, three, four. And then, hey, here's my string representation because I was putting everything together. I was turning those numbers into strings, adding it with a empty string at the end. And then I just get this random, you know, this string of one, two, three, four. So that is essentially method number one. That's how you iterate through a list using just a normal for loop and probably I'll be honest, uh, this is probably the number one method that I use when I iterate through a list um, because I, especially when I just need to grab stuff out. Now there might be times where you need to get things by indexes and we'll cover that here in, a me in, in method uh, three. So stick tuned to that. But let's jump in and show you another way that you can use another type of loop to iterate through a list in Python with method number two. So method number two is actually very similar to method number one. We're just using another loop to do this, um, but we're using a different one. We're using a while loop and this can be similar to um, what I'll talk about a combination of one and three when I get to it. But essentially the method number two uses a while loop. And what you have to do is you have to create this counter. This is one way of doing it. Create a counter that will you basically count up until it reaches uh, the last index of the list. And this is how you do that. Um, and then you just grab out and say, because count is zero. So if you're not familiar with lists, essentially like it's index based. So count of zero. And when you add this syntax means get the very first position. So like, um, down here, that first position will be, so position zero or index zero will be this value of one, index one, we value two. So what this will do is this will basically say, give me count zero. And now item is now gonna be one for this first round. And then just do what I did up above. And then now increment the count. If you don't increment this count, it actually turns into an infinite loop and uh, you get an issue where your program doesn't exit. So careful of that when you're using while loops, um, they have an end condition that's like, you know, a certain condition that you have to meet. So if I run this, what you'll see is it should give me the same output as far as this string down here as my for loop did, but it should just say while loop. Um, and I just actually got to turn both of these on now. So if we run both of them, you'll see that I get the for loop and then I also get the while loop. And that's, those two are the same values right there. And that's just because right here, like I mentioned, I start an index zero, I get it out of the list. I, I add that to a variable called item. And then I just, the next time around count is now one. It's still less than the length of the list, which is a uh, length of four. And so, and then it's going to go, you know, at index one and then so on and so forth all the way up until um, the end. So index three, which is, the last value of the list. So that is method number two, very simple and very familiar to that of number um, of method number one. Hey, I just want to jump in real quick, say thank you so much for watching the video so far. If it's providing you value, please click that like button below. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel so we can learn more about software development and programming. And while well, speaking of programming, let's get right back to it. Okay, so method number three, this is the last method I'm going to show today of how to iterate through a list. And essentially it's the same as, I would say it's like a combination of two, and, uh, method number one with the 
four list and then method number two with this um, index value. And that is actually just gonna be using a for loop with this range value. And what this allows you to do is range allows you, like it says here, is this will pop up. It basically can return the object that produces a sequence of integers from start uh, to stop by basically like you tell it, like you can pass in the variables of your, when, what, what index you wanna start at and what you wanna stop by. And if you want, you can also add something like, like you can say the default is one, like it'll go like one, two, three, four, or you can say, hey, I wanna skip every two. So like start index, this index, and then go skip two. The step size is two. So like one, three, five, stuff like that. Um, but in this case, we're using range and we're just gonna say, hey, I want you to go from, if you don't put, if you just put a number in, it'll go from zero to the number or, or just before the number. So like in our case, it's the same as doing this. Zero is less than the length of the list. So we're gonna go from zero to the, you know, the list, the length of the list minus one, cause that's gonna give us our index. And so essentially it's a for loop. And, but each time now, if I print this I out, it's actually gonna be a number. It's not gonna be, um, it's not gonna be this number here, it's actually gonna be the index number. And if I run this, let's show you this really quick and we'll go back and explain a little further. But essentially, um, you'll see it goes zero, one, two, three. And that's because when it's doing this, it's like I mentioned, it's going index based through the range of the list. So from, so the, the length of the list is four, but if it's going index based, it's gonna start at zero, one, two, three, and then four, or excuse me, zero, then one, two, and three. And so that's why you see that there. And so then I use that to access using the, the bracket operator to access the value in the list by index. So I iterate through, I'm iterating through the list by index. Um, and then I assign it to a variable and then I just recreate that same string that I've been creating. So that's it, that's method number three. That it's again, just like I mentioned, it's very simple. It's a combination of one and two, one being using the for loop, two using that index based operation. Um, but not, but not in a while loop. And that's method number three. And it's, I mean, they all have their different purposes and when to use them. Um, I would say play with them. Like there's times definitely where I use this method because it makes more sense to grab something by index base. Granted, I also like uh, for loops a lot. The, I probably use for loops more than I use while loops. Um, but this is probably the number one if I just need to get the item out. If I just need to grab the item or print the item out or do something with like a value inside the list and iterate, I can just, I'll just iterate through it that way. Um, but if I need to do something for whatever reason, like I need, like by index, I'll grab the index and maybe I'll, I'll do that with the, using method number three to, to grab something out by using, or to iterate through a list by using the range and the index value of it. So that's method number three. Hey, thank you so much for programming with me today. I hope this video provided value and gave you three different methods that you can use to iterate through a list in Python. So without Without further ado, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and keep on coding. Practice using these, you know, different techniques in your programs, in your side projects, in your homework if you're doing this for school or not. But until next time, keep on programming.